Hi, hi. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. ¿Qué tal de lluvia? Again. Is it raining? Yes. Wow. I have to open everything because when I was getting ready to open Zoom, we ran out of electricity. So every part, everything got closed, so I have to open everything again. That nice that we are here and ready to start. Today is 13th, June 13th. Bueno, let's check. I'm going to open the attendance too, so we can call attendance and start. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher, and you? How was your day? Fine. Fine, too. Ready. How was okay. the rain in your house? It was, it was raining a little bit. Yes, teacher, it rained. It's raining, right? Yes, the sure is raining. Imagine a well, hopefully it doesn't we don't run out of electricity anymore. Hmm. Okay. But Let's see, tell me, present as I call you, right, Abner Adoni? Alexa? Alexa? No. Ana Luisa? Mm -hmm. Ana Luisa, no here, Andre. Andre. Angie. Present teacher. Presente. La señal está como lenta, teacher. Sorry. Mi verdad, la lluvia. Arely. Arely Isabel. Erling. I'm here, teacher. Ok, Irma Noemi. Okay. 
Irma Noemi. Carla Milena. Present teacher. Okay. María Epifanía. Good evening teacher, present. Okay, how are you? Marta. I am sick. Ah, really? <clears throat> ah, yes. Oh my. <laughs> the rain. Yes. <laughs> oh, so sad. Marta, Marta, Marisa. Present teacher. <laughs> Mauricio. Present teacher. Yes. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Good evening, present teacher. Okay. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay. Silvia Evelyn. Silvia. Ursula Sibet. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Nice. A ver, anybody else? Anybody connected after I call you? Irma. Sí, verdad. Vamos a ver y Irma. Anybody else? Adoni, no here, Alexa, Ana, Arlene, Miguel Ángel, Silvia. Okay. Well, nice to see you, right? Nice to see you again. I know it's raining. I know the signal is not the best today because of the rain, but good that, here, that we are here, right? And we are ready to continue working. Well, we are going to be talking about this simple past. Remember yesterday, we were talking about some rules for the past, right? We were talking about some rules for, for the use of the past in affirmative. And today we are going to talk about the negative and questions, right? So those are the, the two things that we have for today and tomorrow, talking about questions in negatives. You will see how uh, there is a difference between using affirmative and using negative, right? So the first thing we will do is review the affirmative and then we will move to work with the with the negative. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to share. So we're going to make a quick, a quick review. I know uh, you were working with the simple past yesterday and when I saw you very active and, and I think it's not that difficult for you, right? But anyway, so check. This is our class number 12. Um, and we are going to talk about how to use simple past of be and simple past of other verbs in negative. By right, talking about the negatives. Okay, check the objective. Participants will be able to write three sentences using the past of be and the simple past in negative way, correctly and individually, right? So you're going to put into practice what you're learning and 
doing it individually. So you will be able to work in groups and to work individually. Okay, just refreshing, right? Remember yesterday, uh, we were talking about the verb to be in past and we said that we use was and we use where for the simple past, right? We also said that uh, we use was for singular and we use where for plural. So you say we were, you were, and they were. Remember that there is one you singular and one you plural, but it doesn't matter if we are also, if we are always going to use where. Just let me check something. Yeah, okay. I want to be sure that we are recording. <laughs> okay, so we have you were, we were, and you were, the you plural and the you singular, and they were, right? But in the singular form, we are going to use was. So you say, I was, she was, he was, and it was. Remember that we were also mentioning yesterday that we use was with, or we use the verb to be, doesn't matter, affirmative or negative, in, uh, and present or past, in this case, past. We use the verb to be plus adjectives, right? So you say, I was sleepy, she was warm, we were happy, these are adjectives, right? We also use the verb to be plus nouns. They were teachers. I was a secretary. Yeah, nouns. And uh, we also use it with places, right? So I was in France in June. She was at home. They were at the park. They were at the beach. Right, so when we're talking about places, nouns, or adjectives, remember we use uh, the verb to be, right? But you have to be very careful that we do not use the verb to be with a verb uh, unless we are in another context using the past continuous, but that's not the moment. Right now we are using the simple past, right? So if we are using the simple past, we use the verb to be only with adjectives, nouns, and places. Any question there? Mm -hmm. No. No teacher. Mm -hmm. Now check. Uh, we were also saying that with the regular verbs, we follow a couple of rules, right? And those rules are that if the verb finishes or ends in E, we are going to add D to the verb in past, right? So you say agree, agreed, like, liked, escape, escaped, dance, danced, loved, loved, and hate, hated. But remember, you have to be sure that the verb is regular. It's not that you're going to add D or ED to any verb that you see. No, you have to be sure that that verb is regular. If no, this rule does not apply, right? Because this rule applies only to regular verbs. Okay? Now. We also mention that uh, when we have uh, verbs with only one syllable, right? One syllable, we double the second syllable, the second consonant, and then we add it. So you say stop, stopped with double P. Plan, planned with double N, and then we add the AD. Mop, Mopped, shop, shopped, right? So that's what you have to be very careful. One syllable verbs, consonant, vowel, consonant. I double the second consonant and then I add it, right? 
that's to make the regular verb checking. Um, travel in British English, we write travel with double L, but that is in British English only. In American English, travel is used with one L. In British English, it is used with two L's. And I and I say this because probably in a moment you will see traveled with double L in past, right? But that is British, not American English. Because in American English, we write it with one L. Why? Because travel doesn't have only one syllable, it has two syllables. Okay. Any questions so far? No question? Mm -hmm. No teacher. Okay. Can you give me other examples of verbs that finish in me? Tell me other verbs that finish in me. Move. Mm -hmm. Some other exam, other verbs that finish in me, pero que sean regular, ¿verdad? Move. Hmm? Move. Move. Exactly. Move. So we say move, move. Another one? Can you give me another example? Like? Another? Only. Mm -hmm. Believe. Believe. Okay. Believed. Exactly. We only add the verb. But now check here. Check. And we all, we mentioned yesterday that when the verb finishes in Y, but remember. Consonant plus one, ¿verdad? If we have a verb that finishes in consonant plus y, we eliminate the i, the y, and then we add i e d. But that is when you have consonant plus y. See? Try, try it. Carry, carry it. Cry, cried, Mary, married. See? Only if they finish in Y, right? But consonant Y. If they finish in vowel plus A, Y, in ese caso, no. ¿Verdad? That's why, uh, remember, yesterday somebody asked me, teacher, y quería you. ¿Por qué a play solo le agregaron ed? Because before y, in the case of play, you have a vowel, not a consonant. And when you have a consonant, you make this change. But when you have a vowel before y, you only add ed. ¿Verdad? Porque si no, ¿qué pasaría? Se nos juntarían tres vocales. And that's not possible. Acuérdense que una de las, de las cosas eh, que tienen mucho que ver con el idioma inglés es que también eh, sean cosas que existen, ¿verdad? En, en idioma inglés usted no va a ver tres palabras, tres palabras con tres vocales. So that's why the rule does not apply for this case. So the case of enjoy, you have enjoy. 
enjoyed. We only added it because of the same case. We have a vowel and then a Y. Any question here? No? Question, question, question. Teacher, y siempre se, se agregaría ED. Sí, porque estamos hablando del pasado ahorita. Ok. Ahorita pues estamos hablando del pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, si vamos a usar, a poner el verbo en pasado, entonces sí se va a hacer eso. Ya cuando estemos hablando de otro tiempo, no, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita sí estamos hablando de pasado. Vaya, vamos a ver. I have a verb. I have a verb. I have a, some sentences for you. We did them yesterday. So it would be easier for you to do, right? A ver, the cat. Escaped. Escaped. Uh -huh. The cat escaped from the garden. Number two. They agreed with me about the albums. Mm -hmm. Yes, they agreed with me about that. What about number three? He treated. He treated. He treated. Uh -huh. He tried. He tried to start the car. Number four. Enjoyed. 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 Enjoyed number five. Happened. 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 Yes, happened. Happened. And number six. Yes, stop it. Stop it. Stopped. Stopped. And the zebra crossing. Number seven. Carried. Carried. Yes, carried. I carried on working on the late. And number eight. Failed. 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 Very good. Nice, nice. Any questions? No questions. Teacher, pero eso solo es para el pasado o vi, ¿verdad? No, estos son los verbos regulares. Estos oh. son los verbos regulares. Eh, hay una lista de verbos irregulares. Que los verbos, ir, los verbos irregulares no siguen las reglas que les acabo de dar, ¿verdad? Los verbos regulares sí se pegan a esta regla. Pero los irregulares, no. En verdad, eso no. No se apegan. Example, teacher. Por ejemplo, cuando le... Vamos a hacer una lista, ¿saben? Voy a agregar una paginita. Vamos a hacer una lista. Y vamos a poner irregular. ¿Cuáles son los irregulares? Me siento más cómoda con el tamaño 28 en la letra. Vaya, vamos a ver. Tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, go. Go. Went. ¿Verdad? Mm, swim. Swim. Eight. 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 Ring. ¿Verdad? Eh, estos son eh, regular verbs. They do not follow any 
any of the rules that we studied before because they are irregular. So the only thing we can do with the irregular verbs is memorize them. Memorize them. Just no rule applies to them. Begin, teacher, begin. 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 Another one? Think, buy, de comprar. Ah, okay. Think, but buy, vote. Another one? Do. Wrong. Bring. Brought. Uh huh. Fly. El de crecer, teacher. No me recuerdo muy bien. No, o no sé si estoy equivocada. Y pro. Right. Right. Plate. Play. Yes. Play. Eh, ya está en los. En los Play es regular. Room teacher. ¿Mm? Room. Run. Correr. Yes, run. <coughs> run. Run. Tell me. What is sí. Cantar. Cantar. Sí. Oh, yes. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Sun. Sing some song. Another one. Read. There is no change. Read read. Just the pronunciation changes. The spelling is the same. Read read. And that's a characteristic. Uh, that's a characteristic with these verbs. That sometimes the, the past uh, is similar to the present. For example, let, let, hat, hat, past, past, right? The, the simple Past and the simple present are similar. Can you think of another one? Mm -hmm. Leave left. Leave the de dejar, verdad? Dejar. That's leave. El otro leave vivir. This is dejar. Another fall the caer teacher. Okay. Fall. Fall. Y ese nos trae a frío. Fall. Okay, so these are like, um, we can say the most common verbs that we use, right? The most common ones. There may be some others, right? But um, basically these are the ones that we use the most. You know, in internet you will find hundreds of lists. 
and you will find lists that have like okay, eh, 20 pages, right, to verbs. But I will tell you, do not waste your energy memorizing verbs that you don't use regularly. Because the thing is that sometimes for trying to, to memorize so many verbs, we may feel frustrated, one, because it's too many we won't remember. And the other is, the other thing is that uh, for memorizing the verbs, we may forget the use. That is the most important thing. And that's what we are going to be talking about today. How to use each of these verbs in affirmative and negative and question. Okay, now let's practice the pronunciation a little bit because you will see uh, the pronunciation varies in each of them. Okay, go went. Go went. Swim swam. Swim swam. Swim swam. Eat. Eat eight. Eight. Eat eight. Eat eight. Drink drunk. Drink drink drunk. Drink, 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 drink. Begin began. Begin begin. 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 Think but. Think but. Think but. Buy bow. Buy bow. Do do, do do bring brought bring brought fly flew fly flew fly flew grow grow right brought right right meet met Meet, meet, met. Meet, met. Run, run. Run, run, run. 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 Sing, sang. Sing, sang. Read, read. Read, read. Read, read. Read, read. Read, Let, let. Let, let. Let, let. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. 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 Cost, cost. Leave left. Leave left. Fall fail. Fall fail. Feel felt. Feel felt. And we are going to add another one. See so. See so. Be Any questions here? No questions? Hmm? No. no questions. Okay. okay. This is the box we studied yesterday. Now let's see the questions we checked at the B at the end, right? At the end, at the end, when we were running. Okay, I was interested in the product. That's the first one. What about number two? You? What's number two? About. Aha, uh -huh. now you know the pass of buy, right? You uh, bought, bought the item. The item. Mm -hmm. You bought the item in the center. In the center. You bought the item in the center. In the center. She. What is the pass of read? Read. Read. It's regular, ¿verdad? It's irregular. Red. No. Red. She read. Red. Uh -huh. She read the policies. Right? She read the policies. What about number four? 
Here, the verb is already in past. It should be given. Okay, the supervisor. Give the... Gave, Put it in past. Gave, ah, gave me, right? The supervisor gave me a discount. The supervisor gave me a discount. What about number five? They sent sending send the contract. Mm -hmm. Sending they sent. Send what did they send? What did they send? They sent by email. Mm -hmm. They sent the contract by email. They sent the contract by email. And what about number six? He? He? Was disappointed. Exactly. He was disappointed. Okay. Yesterday, we were also talking about the times, right? The time, the expressions of time. But we were mentioning uh, expressions of time with last and expressions of time with alcohol. Now I have with you, <clears throat> I bring some other expressions. For example, when do we use in, when do we use on, and when do we use at. For example, with the seasons, we say in the summer, in the winter, in spring, in autumn, or in the fall, if you want fall, right? With the years, we use in, in 2020. The pandemia started in the 2020, and it finished in the 2022, right? So if I only say the year, I'm going to use in, in. Only the year. See? Now, if I only say the month, I will say again. In May. My birthday is in December. Right? Mother's Day is in May. Then you say in. Only the month. In. With the parts of the day or some parts of the day, we use in. In the afternoon, in the morning, in the evening, right? In. But with the days of the week, I'm, I cannot use in. If with the days of the week, I'm going to use on. I'm going to share this chart uh, because it is very important that you have it there in the in the group, right? So you can use it to study. Um, oh. Um. What is that? Is anything going for? Wakes up. Let me let me meet you. I pasted it there in the in the chat, so you have it there. Uh, so remember, <clears throat> if we're talking about the days of the week, we use on, right? So you say on Sunday, on Friday, on Monday, on Wednesday, on Tuesday, today. 
With holidays, I'm going to use so it's very common mistake that people say in vacation, but you don't say in vacation, you say on vacation, right? On Father's Day, on Mother's Day, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. Okay, so with the holidays, I'm going to use on. When I have a complete date, I'm going to say on, on May 10th. If I have only the month, I say in. If I have the complete date, I say on. On May 10th, on July 15th, 2020th, right? Check one thing here. Remember that we said that with parts of the day we use in, right? With some other parts of the day we use at. So you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at noon, at midnight, at night, and at lunchtime. But check one thing. If I'm going to say one day of the week with one part of the day, I say on Monday or on Sunday, Monday. Yeah. What do you do on Sunday morning? Hey. What did you do on Sunday morning? What did, because we're talking about the past, right? What did you do on Sunday morning? What did you do on Friday night? I don't need to say on Sunday in the morning. And I don't need to say on Friday at night. Okay, so if I'm using a day of the week and a part of the day, I do not use in the, and I don't use that. So I say on Sunday morning and on Friday night. On Saturday afternoon. So if you say, well, on Wednesday evenings, I go to the movies. Hmm? Wednesday, the day, the part of the week, the part of the day, sorry, on Wednesday evening. De acuerdo? Any question here? Mm -hmm. no. Now, if we're going to use a, to talk about the time, you say at eight o'clock. We started the class. We started the class at eight o'clock. I ran out of electricity at seven thirty. When well, seven forty and something, right? So we use the time with the time we use at. And remember, why I'm bringing this to memory? You already studied this before, right? I'm bringing this to memory because when talking about the past, you sometimes need to use this expression. Not necessarily last or ago, right? Sometimes we need these expressions. Okay? So tell me, what did you do in the morning today? What did you do in the morning today? Mm -hmm. I went to work in the morning. What about you? First, I I was cooking my lunch. You cooked your lunch, okay? Yes, and after that, I went to my work. Why to my work? Okay, nice, nice. What did you do in May? We made a lot of things in May, right? We celebrated Mother's Day in May. We finished the previous course in May. We started this course in May too. That was at the end of the, of the month. But 
it was still me, right? No questions here? No? Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el usar in part of the day y usar at part of the day? You have to memorize it with the parts of the day that you use at and the parts of the day with you use in. Uh -huh. So you say morning, in. Afternoon, in. Evening, in. But night, at. I don't say in the night. A menos que yo esté hablando de una noche in particular. Right? In the night of the party, allí sí. Pero está hablando de una noche en particular. De lo contrario, night va a ser siempre at. At. Mm -hmm. Midnight, at Midnight, lunch time. Sí. Noon, they will always be at. Okay. Thank you. Okay. A ver. Now, let's move. Uh, we will move to the conversation, right? So let's read the conversation. Can you tell me more about your experience? Can you can tell you me know more about your experience? It wasn't so nice. It wasn't so nice. Because... Mm, the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. Because, because the agent didn't give me a confirmation, confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. He didn't send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? Do you, Do you remember, remember that? that yes. I I no, I don't. No, no I, don't. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Actually, he didn't say Actually, 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 it, it was a kind. My apologies for that. My apologies for that. He, uh, and what about our product? And what uh, about, about our product? Could you use it? Could you, could you, use, you use, use it? it? Yes, I could. Yes, yes, yes I I could. Could. it wasn't so easy. It, it wasn't, wasn't so easy. easy. But I called another agent again. Another agent again. He was so considerate. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. His way. And he explained everything to me. And he explained everything to me. And he explained everything to me. And explained everything to me. Okay, one more time. Can you tell me more about your experience? Can you tell me more? About Can you experience. tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice. It, it wasn't, so nice. wasn't so, nice. Because so, nice. so nice. Because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. Because, because the agent didn't, didn't give me a confirmation, confirmation number. He didn't even no. send a receipt for what I bought. She didn't even send a receipt for do you remember the agent's name? Do you remember the Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. No, no, no I, don't. I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. 
Actually, he wasn't kind. He wasn't kind. He wasn't. My apologies for that. My apologies for that. for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. Yes, yes I, could. I, could. I could. It wasn't so easy. It, it wasn't, wasn't so easy. easy. But I called another agent again. But I called, but I called another, another agent. agent. Mm -hmm. He was so considerate. He was, he was so considerate. His name was Romeo. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. He explained everything to me. And he explained everything to me. And he explained everything to me. Okay. Now you're going to work in pairs. Um, well, I'm going to send you in groups, right? Because some of you are sick. You have about three, four people sick, right? So I'm going to send you in groups. Um, you're going to take turns reading the conversation. And after you practice the conversation, you move to this exercise, see? You're going to write in this chart the activities that happen and the ones that didn't happen, right? So you will see there where they are using affirmative sentences and when they are using negative sentences. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions. Your manual, page 30, I guess. Let me see. I'm going to confirm the page. Thirty one. Thirty one. Hmm. Page thirty one. So you can go to page thirty one and the acuerdo? Ready. I'm going to send you there. You are 14. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to make my little groups today. Try to join the groups. Page 31, practice the conversation and then complete the chart. Sí. Okay. Vaya, vamos a, mm, sí, y después vamos a poner lo que el did, lo que hizo y el did, lo que no hizo. Ah, vaya. Ok. Vaya, déjeme, voy a buscar en el manual porque no le tomé captura. Ok. Sí, page 31, este, ¿quién es? Sí. <ríe> Ay, ya la perdí. 
Okay. I have didn't didn't I tell me. Hello teacher. Ah, teacher, okay. lo que pasa es que yo me desconecté un momento. Ya volví. Me podrías recordar, bueno, repetir qué, qué debemos hacer. Vaya, you will practice the conversation. Si no la pueden abrir en, la, en el manual ahorita, se las comparto en el chat. De, de ok. Ok, you will practice the conversation. Uh -huh. and, and after practicing the conversation, you will complete the chart. In, you, will you will complete the, the, the chart. Ok. That is on the, <coughs> the next exercise of the activities that they did and the ones that they didn't. Okay, sí. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Can you come for aquí? Arelín, Mauricio y Marta. Can you tell me more about the strings? Teacher. Yeah. Eh, yo tengo bastante problema con la conexión ahorita. Vaya, a ver si logran practicar, Mauricio. Okay. Ahí vamos a entender si de repente nos desaparece, ¿no? Okay. Sí, yo sé que cuando llueve así se pone, ¿verdad? Que de repente... Sí, aún estoy acá abajo. De repente sí, sí. No se ve. Con una paraguas y todo. Todavía está en la parada de buses. Sí, sí, está lloviendo ah, mucho. Qué horrible. Los demás chicos por ahí, Arely, Marta. Hola. Hola. Vaya, Marta, lista. Sí, conversa. Practiquemos la conversación. No sí. sé quién. Ahí se la okay. pegué en el okay. chat, por si, no han haya, por si no han abierto el manual, ¿verdad? Okay. Pues yo opino que como son dos personajes, la practiquemos inicialmente dos y luego otros dos. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Okay. No sé quiénes quieren empezar. Okay. ¿Alguien que quiere empezar con la conversación? Bueno, voy a, voy a empezar yo. Okay. ¿Alguien más? Lo intentaré yo. Ok, dale, entonces inicio y luego vamos a los Ok. Can you tell me more about, about your exp experience? It's to need because the agent did hit me a confirmation number. He didn't even take a reason for what it about. Do you remember the agent's name? The agent? No, I don't. Agents. Actually, agent's name. He, he did say his name. He was a kind. kind Um, my Apollo. ¿Cómo se dice esa teacher? Apologies. Apologies. My Apologies apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It was sus eight by it came a notch ahead a year. He was to consider. <laughs> His name was Romeo. Uh, he explained everything to me. Everything. Everything. He explained everything, everything to me. Everything. Okay. Uh, Entonces, yeah. eh, seguimos los, los que quedamos. Okay. 
Go ahead. ¿Quieres empezar? Ok. Ready? Dale, dale. Ok. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about? Do you remember the ahead name? The agent's agent's name? No, I don't know. I think he can say his name. It wasn't fun. Um, I apologize for this. And what about our product? Could you, you eat? Yes, I could. Yes, yeah, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Podrían cambiar las chicas con nosotros. Está bien. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Ella cómo se podría decir? Um, the agent didn't uh, yeah. mm, the agent didn't give us didn't give us the confirmation says didn't give us didn't give us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The confirmation number. Didn't give us. Or give me. Oh, boy, about the said give me, right? Uh -huh. Didn't give me. Give me. O sea, como que estoy hablando de, de yo soy la. Mm -hmm. No me dio la información, algo así. Okay. The confirmation number. Okay. okay. Y en la otra que estaba verificando. Quiero ver, es donde dice The Agent. The Agent. The Agent Didn't. ¿De cómo, Picha? The Agent. 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 The Agent. Agent. The Agent Didn't even sign a receipt. For what I got. For what I got. Sign a receipt. Even sign, come. Didn't sign. And didn't even didn't sign. Didn't sign a receipt. Okay. Uh, Perdón, si preguntas que hace mucho ruido la. No, no, mucho no, ruido. Okay, también. don't worry. The agent. The agent didn't <laughs> sign a receipt. Didn't sign a receipt. I receive for what I bought. Okay, vamos a ver en la otra sería. En la otra, pero que piden de donde le dice he didn't say his name. His el name. Dijo el nombre, ¿verdad? He didn't say his name. Oh. He didn't say his name. Mm -hmm. He didn't say his name. He didn't even say his name. Right? It was very impolite. A very impolite guy. <laughs> he didn't say he didn't. He didn't even say his name. 
his name. He didn't. He didn't. What's his name? Esos serían en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En los, en los, en María. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en el did, can you tell me? Can you tell me about your experience? Can you tell me about your experience? Yeah. Oh, se podría decir en el que llamó a otro agente. Eh, ¿sí? ¿Cómo se podría decir? ¿Sí? 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 He called. He called another agent. He explained everything. Mm -hmm. He explained mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Explain everything to me. Mande. Explain everything. Eh, respecto a lo de lo de los positivos, sería de que he called another person and he he explained everything. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> about your experience <sighs> coffee coffee <laughs> coffee the coffee ay que es horrible a todos que queda ah si 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 es un bien Sí, si gusta, practiquemos la lectura ahorita. Ok, este, quiero ver. Eh, Alexa. Hola, casi, casi no, no le escucho, Carla. Ah, perdón, perdón. Escucha, ahora. Sí. Hola. Ahora sí ya me escucho mejor. Mm, vale. Este um, tiene las del viven y del did de la conversación. No, solo iba viendo las del did en el did. No sé si está la teacher todavía aquí. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Hola teacher. Hola. En las del did no 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 entiendo mucho cómo las. Donde dice did son las Acá. afirmativas. ¿Qué hizo? ¿Qué hizo? ¿Qué no hizo? Entonces es como las que están en presente en ese ratito, en esa conversación. No, necesariamente. Lo que hizo es pasado. ¿Qué hizo? Ajá. Por ejemplo, es que las, las didn't las didn sí están bien identificadas. Esas sí están fáciles, digamos. ¿verdad? Pero las didn't sí no. Acuérdense no, no, que no, ayer no. vimos el pasado en afirmativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, pues esas son las didn't. Son las que va a poner en DIT, las que están 
en pasado en afirmativo. Por ejemplo, si le dice, I called an agent, I called another agent sería did, porque es algo que hizo. Y en didn't va a poner las cosas que no hizo. La, la otra, el, el otro ejemplo que nosotros tenemos del did, eh, donde dice, he explained everything to me. Ah, eso es did. Porque él explicó. Ajá, ese tío, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, ese tío. Porque él explicó. ¿Quién dice eso? Es que no, no veo dónde dice eso. ¿Quién eh, es Eva? Eva, ajá, Eva. Cuando está hablando con Luz, le dice las cosas que la gente con el que había hablado no hizo y las cosas que, que ella hizo y hizo el otro Ajá, exacto. Ok. ¿Practicamos eh, la conversación? Sí. Yo digo que sí. <risa> ok. Que comienza María. Ve, espérenme. Vale. María con Alexa y después yo con. Con cualquiera. Vaya, vaya. Solo la U. Porque me salió. Vaya, dice. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Um, do you remember the agent's name? No, no I don't. Actually, I seen the... I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about your product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so e easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considered His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay. Bueno, so, um, si quiere comience, Carlita. Voy a hacer, si usted luz, voy a hacer Iba yo. Okay. Um, Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receive or a save for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I didn't. Actually, I think He didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you, could you use it? Yes, I could. I wasn't so easy, but I called it another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Ok, este, quiero ver, hizo los dos papeles, el de Luz y el de Eva, ¿verdad? Sí. Y el, Alexa, en, la, en la del DID, ¿cuáles le puso? ¿Quién? ¿Quién? ¿Yo? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, she called another agent. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y And he explained she, everything then, to me. Yes. Correcto. Ok, si quiere ahora, eh, bueno, no sé, ¿quién le tocó? ¿Quién le tocó Alexa, Luz o Eva en la conversación? Eva. 
Eva. Uh -huh. ah, sí, ahora si quiere practiquemos y usted le toca luz y a mí Eva. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. She didn't even sign a receipt for what about what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy. But I call an by calling another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Y completamos los dos papeles, cada una, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí. Sí. Ok. Creo que ya estamos listas. Usted anotó toda, ¿verdad, Alexa? Sí, solo dos eran, vean, los que están al final. El del DIN, sí. Ajá. Y el DIN, sí. Ajá, los del DIN, sí eran unos. Estos. Ya, tú. Ready. Sí, yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Then let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I imagine the other boys finish too. In 45 seconds, everybody will be here. Mm -hmm. Much seconds. Nice. I guess everybody back, right? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Questions. Questions, questions. No questions. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher. Hola. Tenemos un par de dudas por ahí. Ajá. Yo, yo había entendido que luz está haciendo la encuesta a Eva. Luz, Luz hace la encuesta a Eva, entonces. Y yo había entendido que íbamos a poner las cosas que hizo Eva y las que no hizo. Pero ya nos confundimos. Es que son todas las cosas o, que... O es... Las cosas que pasaron. Que hicieron, que hicieron. Las que pasaron. Mm. Que dice que happen, no que hizo Eva, sino que las que pasaron, ah. que no pasaron. Que las hizo cualquiera. Sí, sí, pues yo, uh -huh. yo en algunos coloqué en did, coloqué talk y call. Y en didn't give, send y say. O sea que estaban hablando, llamando. Otros que no enviaron, no dijeron. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. 
Exactly. Ahí están las cosas que pasaron y las cosas que no pasaron. Que no importa quién las hizo, quién las dijo, sino que que no pasaron, ¿verdad? O que pasaron o que no. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, sí, about product, teacher. A ver, le, vámonos en orden. Esta de aquí, uh -huh. it sería la experience, ¿verdad? De you say, was so nice sería that happened or that didn't happen didn't happen mm -hmm. okay so we say the experience we are poner un texto acá para escribir the experience le vamos a poner experience para no ponerle it The experience wasn't so nice. It didn't happen. So it's negative. Mm -hmm. The experience wasn't so nice. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué es lo que Legend no hizo? Then, um, um, a receipt. The agent didn't then send me a confirmation number. ¿Verdad? Didn't send me a confirmation number. ¿Qué más no le mandó? He didn't say... Didn't send me a receipt. Uh, <laughs> okay, didn't send me a receipt. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más no hizo? Um, he didn't say his name. He didn't send his name. ¿Qué más no es? ¿Qué más no pasó? No, no remember. He was in kind. Ney. Ah, ok. He was in kind. Ok, she doesn't remember. She doesn't. Pero ese es negativo, eh, digo expreso, ¿verdad? But she doesn't remember her, her the agent's name. ¿Qué más no pasó? Mm -hmm. de... The agent didn't explain the use of the product. Mm -hmm. So, he couldn't use it, right? Un chi, que es una chi. She couldn't. It, uh, it wasn't so easy. Using the product, vamos a decir, using the product. It wasn't so easy. It wasn't so easy. Why? Because she didn't receive an explanation. She didn't receive an explanation. So that's why it wasn't so easy. A ver, ¿qué más? Ahora, let's see what happened. Mm -hmm. About the product. ¿Qué pasó con respecto al producto? Como dice que lo que hizo, compró un producto. Okay. About the product. 
Vaya, pero respecto a la experiencia, ¿qué fue lo que pasó? Porque ahí lo que le preguntan es qué pasó. She called another agent. Okay. Okay, lo primero, she bought a product, ¿verdad? She bought a product. Saber qué era el product, ¿no? She called another agent. ¿Qué más pasó? What happened? Hmm? What else happened? What can you tell me about the agent? The agent was? So considering. Considering. What else? The agent explained everything. Mm -hmm. He explained everything to him. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? ¿Mm? No, teacher, yo me había confundido, entonces ahí, ahí, ahí discúlpenme los compañeros ahí que yo había entendido más. Ajá, es que ahí, ¿qué, qué, es, lo que, qué es lo que pasó uh -huh. y qué es lo que no pasó? Uh -huh. Describiendo la, la, la experience uh -huh. that she had. Uh -huh. de, del costo. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question here? Sí, teacher. Eh, eh, con lo que ha puesto en el did, ¿verdad que cuando es el didn't siempre sería de, por ejemplo, el de, el de agent didn't send, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Mi confirmation. Exacto. Y en el did solamente cambiamos lo que es el verbo, teacher. Sí. Como she called and not este agent. Es... Esta es la afirmativa. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer veíamos afirmativa? Y decíamos que cuando la oración es afirmativa, el verbo tiene que ir en pasado, ¿verdad? Hoy vamos a ver la segunda parte. Cuando el verbo, cuando vamos a hablar de negativo, el verbo va a estar en presente, porque el que está en pasado es el auxilio. Ya, van a ver. Vaya, por ejemplo, el verbo tuvi no, no hay problema, no cambia. Gran cosa, ¿verdad? Solamente se le pone el, el, la N en el apóstrofe o decimos was not. Pero en el caso de los otros no. verbos, le vamos a poner didn't y el verbo va a ir en base, forma base. Ya van a ver. ¿Eh? Usamos the auxiliary in past and the verb in present. So you say, I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. She didn't say his name. She didn't call again. Right? She didn't call. We didn't buy. This is simple past negative. Right? So in negative, we, we put the auxiliary in past in negative, right? And we put the verb in, in present. El auxiliar lo vamos a usar en negatives and questions. Ahorita vamos a quedar solamente en el de negatives. Mañana van a ver cómo vamos a usarlo también en los questions. Okay? But when we use the verb to be, the only difference is to put this, right? That's the only difference in the with the verb to be. So instead of saying I was interested, you say I wasn't interested. You were called, you weren't called. He was kind, he wasn't kind. The people were helpful, the people weren't helpful. 
they were online, they weren't online. So the only thing that will change here with the to be is that we are going to put, to put the negation and we can use the contraction here. Okay, but with the other verbs, we have to use the auxiliary past, right? The auxiliary didn't, and the verb in present. Now check. So here, we're going to make a change. We're going to pass the verbs to the negative form. But before that, let's make a couple of sentences, right? So you feel more comfortable with that. Let's see. You say, I didn't. So if I use negative, I say, I didn't. I didn't. Ay, perdonen mi apóstrofe loca que aparece así al revés. I didn't eat meat for lunch. I didn't eat meat. I didn't eat meat for lunch. I ate chicken. I didn't eat meat. I ate chicken. See the difference, right? When you use the, the negative, you use didn't and the verb in present. But when you use the affirmative, we put the verb in past. I didn't go to the, the movies last Sunday. Went to the supermarket. Yeah. I forget my formula but I didn't go, right? I didn't go to the movies last Sunday. I went to the supermarket. Tell me something that you didn't do this morning. What's something that you didn't do? I didn't. Mm -hmm. What's something that you didn't do? Es lo que no sé. For example, I didn't mm -hmm. read a book. Okay. I... I didn't read a book. I saw a movie, right? Can we say that, Carla? Movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't read a book. I didn't read a book. I saw a movie. Yeah. Me too. I didn't read a book today. I saw a movie. Okay, anything else? Tell me something you did, something that you didn't. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Did you go to the park today? No, uh, I no. didn't. Okay, no. No, no I didn't. I didn't go to the go to the park today. I I went to work. Yeah. I went to work, right? I didn't go to the park. I went to work. Did you drink wine today? Mm -hmm. Did you drink wine? Yes or no? Uh, 
I. No, I didn't. I drank coffee. Okay, me too. I didn't drink wine. Yes. I didn't drink wine. I drank coffee. You see? Any questions here? Questions, questions? Teacher, en la última, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se diría en español? I didn't drink wine. I drank coffee. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es wine, teacher? ¿Qué es? Wine de vino. Victor. Vino. Wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question here? Teacher, y con lo, así como la homework 12, eh, donde sale hers. Her. Mm -hmm. Entonces tendría que decir, she didn't, por ejemplo, she didn't do. Fíjense, este do es el verbo hoy. Y el otro didn't es el auxilio. She didn't do her homework. Así her. Sí. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. She didn't do her homework. Por ejemplo, si usamos they, sería they didn't eat their food. Ahí lo que cambia es cosas así. Dependiendo de subject, ¿verdad? Que estamos usando. So you say, they didn't eat their food. He didn't. He didn't. Paint. His house. ¿Verdad? He didn't. Uy, miren cómo estoy poniendo he. <laughs> Qué barbaridad, teacher. Vaya, he didn't paint. He didn't paint his house. Yeah. He didn't paint his house. He slept all the afternoon. <laughs> he didn't paint his house. He slept all the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, este, esto que usted ve acá es el possession, ¿verdad? El possessive, el possessive adjective. Este va a cambiar dependiendo del subject. El su de ella es her. El su de ellos, de, de they, ¿verdad? Es their. Y el su de él es his. Así como my. I didn't do my homework. She didn't do her homework. He didn't do his homework. So, esto va a variar dependiendo del subject. Mm -hmm. Any other question there? No more question. No, the... Vaya, vamos a las sentences. Here. You're going to change the sentences to negative. So you say, I'm satisfied with my laptop. Aparte de que tienen que hacerla a negative, tienen que pasarla a pasar. Double trick here. ¿verdad? Tienen que ponerla en, aquí se la están dando en afirmativo. Usted tiene que ponerla en pasado. Y negativo. ¿Ok? Vaya, bueno, para que se les facilite un poquito más la vida, los voy a mandar a los grupos. 
join join remember negative past Don Mandy no le abro los grupos. Qué barbaridad. Vayan, try to join. Los mandé a los mismos, ¿eh? No sé. Ya la mando Marta, donde veo que me está quedando pobre. Oh, mire qué bonito. Vaya. La mando. Okay, lo voy a mover para ver si se me aparece el grupo. Cheque. Pero la gripe y luego se queda. Good, Good evening. Good evening. Eh, yes. Voy a buscar el manual. Voy a... Ok. Nancy encontró este la ah ya lo encontré en qué página es es la treinta y dos treinta y dos y me lo podrían enviar por esto de Nancy okay espérame le voy a tomar una captura mira Vamos a hacer aquí uno. No hay que ser de ese niño sin negativo. Hoy sí, ya lo encontré, Nancy. 32. Pero... Verdad. Oh, vaya. Vean el chat, yo creo que igual no sé. Ya lo mandé, pero como estoy del teléfono, pues algo que <ríe> no estoy segura de si se van la... bien las cosas. <coughs> por ahí está. Sí, ya lo viste, André. Sí, gracias. Ok. Aquí tenemos que convertir las oraciones con el... el... Usando pasado simple. Negativo. Ajá, el pasado simple. Vaya, y veo que dice que el pasado simple. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser I did. El dire, ¿verdad? Ah, ajá, sí, sí, vale, el dire. Gracias. I did. Y el verbo sería, pues, sí. en su forma normal. Sería satisfecho. Como verbo es satisfacer. Satisfy. Pero Satisfy. Ahí no estaría, ahí ¿Ah? no estaría hablando del, del verbo tuyo en ese caso, sería I, wa I wasn't. No. Así que eso, eso pensé yo también, pero pues es que dice en el pasado simple. Entonces, porque si yo al principio lo pensé así como, como lo dices tú, I wasn't okay. satisfied, ¿verdad? Pero pues veo que ahí arriba dice pasado simple Ajá. y se usa el didn't. Uh -huh. Ok. 
según el cuadrito del ejemplo. Ajá, sí. Sí, tiene está razón. Viendo, está Ajá. viendo que el verbo es satisfacer, satis, satisfy, no sé es, cómo se pronuncia. Es el mismo, Vaya. ¿verdad? Vaya, listen, one, one thing, chicos. Si en okay. la oración, aunque esté en present, están usando el verbo to be, ustedes lo van a pasar en pasado usando el verbo to be. Si están usando otro verbo, lo van a pasar en pasado usando ese otro verbo. O sea, en ese caso sería, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Exacto. Y la segunda sería, Marta wrote. Eh, no. Marta didn't wrote. Didn't. Uh -huh. uh, sí, Marta Rod. Marta, ¿en qué? Ah. Rod. Uh -huh. uh, Rod. ¿Qué es right, el pasado? Right. Right. Negative. ¿Sabes qué? ¿O qué haría igual? No, no sé. Tiene que cambiarlo a negativo. Pues entonces, ¿qué haría? Marta Tiren. Right. Así tal cual el mismo verbo. Marta Tiren, right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Mm -hmm. En la tres, entonces sería eh, we, no sé si me voy a equivocar, we weren't so happy. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. We weren't. We're, we're not, we weren't. Sí. We weren't. <laughs> Uh -huh. so so we're in or we're not. Uh -huh. that, that's okay if you want to use a contract. Okay. 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 La siguiente sería Pedro and me didn't drop this. El contrario de right? Pedro and me. Uh -huh. Didn't drive it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Didn't drive it to the company. La, la cinco, el eh, <coughs> principal. Didn't say Sí. Send. Didn't send. Sends uh -huh. many emails. Uh -huh. Sí. Many emails. Sí. Y en la última sería igual, ¿verdad? The program didn't. Uh -huh. Sí. sí. Pienso que sí. The program is didn't to slow didn't what didn't is sent is The program is to slow.
teacher. Eh, la última, the program didn't quas. Didn't, didn't eat. ¿Cómo usamos el, el, el to be? En pasado. Eh, wasn't. Eh, no, perdón, wasn't es negativo y quiero ver. Was. Ajá, pero como usted lo va a hacer en negativo. Wasn't. Sería algo así. Está muy bien. Ya está. Let's go. Let's go. Almost. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, Pacha. I'm satisfied with my laptop. What is the negative of that sentence? I was not satisfied with my laptop. Mm -hmm. I wasn't satisfied. Wait. What about the next one? Marta writes a letter to her boss. Mm -hmm. Negative past. Marta, Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Okay. What about number three? We are so happy with the food service. We? We're not. Mm -hmm. We were not, but we weren't, right? Okay. So happy with the food service. Mm -hmm. We were so happy with the food service. Nice. What about number four? 
Pedro and me drive to the company. Didn't. Pedro and me didn't write to the company. Mm -hmm. Yo preferiría usar acá hay en vez de mí y le voy a decir por qué. Porque estamos hablando de un subject, no de un object. ¿verdad? Entonces tendría que ser hay, no mí. Pedro and I, negative. Then drive to the company. Yes, Pedro and I didn't drive to the company. A number five. The principal sends many emails. Mm -hmm. Say it in past negative. Didn't send him many emails. Mm -hmm. The principal didn't send many emails. And the last one, the program is too slow. The program Wasn't. Wasn't. Too slow. Okay. Nice, nice. Any question? Any question? No? Easy. No, teacher. Very easy. Okay. Great. Wow, we have gotten to the end. Let's go to the last attendance then. Let me see. Uh, Arner Adoni. Arner. Alexa Marcela. Present. Ana Luisa. Presentation. Andre. Presentation. Angie. Presente. Arely. Presentation. Erling Melchizedek. Presentation. Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Karim y Carla. <ríe> Carla, ya no va a cambiar el nombre. Carla, Milena. Present teacher. María Epifanía. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy Katia. Present. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Silvia. Ursula. Present teacher. And William. Present teacher. Nice. Nice, nice. Who is Dulce? Mauricio le toca quedarse William. Well, see you, see you, see you tomorrow. A nice day. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Time to rest.
Hello, teacher. Hi, Mauricio. Tell me. Sí, you... tengo bastante. <laughs> tengo bastantes problemas ahorita con conexión. Ah, ah. Incluso ahorita estamos llegando a la casa. Güey. Y ahorita va ahorita. llegando. Ah, eso sorry. Ahorita tengo que pasar un. Tengo que pasarme aquí un, un picnic. Para llegar al otro lado. Ouch. ¿Cómo está sí. para quedarse? ¿Se queda mañana mejor? Eh, si me hace el favor, si mañana. Sí, okay, sí porque vale. hoy tengo que pasar acá un lugar okay. algo. Vaya, okay. vaya, sí está bien. Tengo que hacer el camino. Gracias. Okay. Sí, porque sí. tengo que por acá. Sí, está lloviendo todavía. Sí, un poco. Vaya, okay. pues sí, ahora más de eso, ok, take care. Ok. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.